What's up everyone? How's it going? Uh, I wanted to make a separate video about my snorkeling tour that went off to, to Maya Bay. I was, it was amazing. Honestly, I've, I've never been that much of a snorkeling guy, but uh, I think the experience at, at this four island trip that I did uh, may, have, may have changed my mind. So for those of you who, who don't know, uh, I work full time uh, for a SaaS company. I do customer success work, but I work for a North American company. So I work during the middle of the night, uh, which I actually love because then it gives me a full day to go out and, and just tour around. So one day I decided, hey, you know what? I got to check out my bay. I've heard it's beautiful but I don't wake up typically till, till one o'clock. So I go down to my hotel and you'll find this with most hotels. They'll, they'll have tours. They work with very tight, various types of tour companies. So I asked the guy, I say, hey, is there a tour in Maya Bay? This is the day before. And he said, yeah, we have a full day tour or we have a half day tour. And I said, well, how much is it? So a half day tour, which starts at 2 p.m. and goes till sunset. And you can, you can also do a plankton uh, snorkeling activity so it goes to about seven or eight o'clock so it's about five five six hours and i said okay well how much is that and it was only 400 or 450 baht which is 17 18 dollars uh so i was like of course I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check this out so woke up uh someone came down to the hotel walked me to to the pier and there was a group of maybe 50 people I think they took like eight, eight to 10 people per boat. So you got a long tail boat and they take you on this, this four hour tour. Uh, just being on the boat itself is, is an experience being on a long tail boat. Uh, if it gets quite rocky in the sea, it can be quite interesting, uh, but it's a fun experience nonetheless. Our first stop was Monkey Beach. Now, uh, I've had some interesting encounters with, with monkeys. So we stopped there. Uh, the, the monkeys at Co PP, I don't know if it's just the encroachment of, of humans onto their territory, uh, but they're certainly not shy. And uh, there's actually a couple of attacks on, on some of the tourists. I got a couple of them on camera. One I missed, uh, kind of funny actually, one of the monkeys went on one of the boats and stole a couple of things. I got the tail end of it, but man, people were freaking out. Uh, it was quite the experience. So we went to Monkey Beach. After there, uh, we did a snorkeling stop. Like I said, I'm not a big snorkeler, but I think now maybe uh, I might be changed because the amount of fish, the amount of different types of fish, it, it was absolutely stunning to see. And the, the water's so clear, so clear water. Uh, you, you can see everything and it, it, it's just, pretty surreal experience to see all the different fish and and while the, the marine the marine biology ecosystem that's that's happening in in the seas and so that was really cool uh, I got some good footage of that and then uh, we head around the islands you know we'd stop from time to time my favorite part of this tour and by the way the name of this this area is called Ko PP Lee so I highly, highly recommend you do this. If you do one thing when you go to Cold PP, this, this was by far the highlight of my, my tour. We went into this like horseshoe bay, spent maybe 40 minutes just swimming there. By far my favorite. If if there was snorkeling to, to go along with this, it would have been cool, but just being in the water, just being in kind of like this enclosed bay area, it was absolutely, unbelievable you have these wallpaper type gigantic walls of, of trees and it just gives you this unbelievable backdrop you got changes of color in the water you got crystal clear water some of it's green some of it's blue it and I, I took a couple of pictures and it somebody told me it looked like a painting one of my pictures uh, it was absolutely un believable it's unfortunate my gopro died during during this portion of the of the trip i uh, spent 40 minutes there then we ran around towards my bay uh, there is an ecological place 
turned off. I tried looking it up. I didn't really understand what it was for. So I won't talk too much about that. Uh, but then we went to the famous Maya Bay, spent an hour there. Uh, it was a cool experience. I felt like maybe it's a tad overrated or maybe I just preferred some of the other spots. But nevertheless, it's, it's a beautiful place made famous by the movie The Beach. A uh, couple of cool things. Saw a couple sharks in there. Just tiny little reef sharks, but, but still pretty cool. Uh, I, I thought I was videoing them. They're actually chasing a bunch of fish. But uh, I, I guess I don't, don't know how to operate my, my phone properly because I didn't get the footage. But I did get footage of the sharks. Uh, very beautiful. Just, just touring around my bay. Spent an hour there. There's so many fish. Just different types of fish everywhere. And uh, after that, we, we went touring, did a couple other snorkeling stops. Uh, and then we actually went around into Maya Bay and, and did some snorkeling. Uh, all the long tail boats just stopped for maybe half an hour. We watched the sunset. I actually swam all the way from the long tail boats. A group of us swam all the way from the long tail boats to the actual shore, which was pretty fun. And on this little island, uh, that, that was pretty cool. There's these two massive crabs, biggest crabs I've ever seen in my life. I got them on my GoPro. I didn't want to get too close because the one had had its little pincher up at me uh, as I approached it. So I was like, okay, I, I, the animals have been not so friendly to me while I've been in Thailand. So I didn't get too close to it, but they're the big, absolutely biggest crabs I've ever seen. Uh, it was just cool hanging out in there. Uh, the this, this swim was, was pretty cool, going all the way from the boat to the shore. There's actually one part, and again, my, unfortunately my GoPro died. You can actually go underneath one of the rocks. You can actually dive below it and come back up on the other side, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the ladies actually freaked out. I don't know what she saw in the water, but she started freaking out. Um, I was trying to see what it was, but I, I couldn't, couldn't find it. I went over there to try and see what it was. But, Unfortunately, didn't get it. Uh, and then, yeah, we we hung out until sunset, until dark. And then there was plankton uh, snorkeling. So I was the first one to jump in. Everyone's like, who's going to go first? And I was like, I'll go, whatever. And uh, to be honest, I didn't see a thing. People were like, well, use your hands for some light. And you'll see them all in front of your hands. I couldn't see anything. Somebody's like, can you see anything? I was like, I can see my hands, I can see bubbles. I don't see anything else. Uh, so that was a little bit of bust. Everyone else thought it was super cool. I wish I would have got the experience, but I don't know. Um, and uh, they fed us some pineapple. I didn't think I liked pineapple. I was starving though, because I hadn't eaten anything all day. And I actually really enjoyed the pineapple that was on the boat. Head back. And uh, overall, definite, if you're in Koh Phi do the Phi Phi Lee tour. I think it's an absolute must do. Uh, must do. The views are absolutely stunning. The snorkeling is unbelievable. Uh, overall, it's just a great trip.